Hey there, my name is Brandon Howe, and welcome back to my Making a Game series. In the last episode, we finished off our game, finally, in final form, not just a demo anymore. In this episode, we are going to be actually uh, publishing our game on the internet. So, let's get started with that. We'll be exiting Unity for the final time, and heading over to itch.io. Uh, first things first, you'll want to set up an account on this website if you haven't already, but I already have, so we're going to go over to here. This is, well, my, I guess my page thing. I've only uploaded two Game Jam games here, but that two is about to become three, so let's do that. So over in the uh, top right here, this drop down arrow, uh, under create, hitting upload new project, like that. Uh, you'll be brought to this page where then you can set all of this stuff up. First thing we'll do is um, down here under uploads, actually uploading the files of our game. So just quickly navigating to that, GitHub, making a game, um, and our um, Galaxy Protector build here. Uh, oh, we're gonna want to turn that into a uh, zip file. So I'm gonna right click that, hit uh, send to, compressed zip folder, wait a few seconds for it to do that. Um, while that is doing that, let's look at some of the other things we have to uh, modify here. So we have our project, um, or our title and our URL, which is what the this top thing will look like for our game. Um, this cover image, which could be whatever, yeah, title type thing. Um, that you want people to see first when seeing your game, which for us, I'm gonna probably uh, we'll pick uh, one of these screenshots here that I've taken, uh, having the rest of the screenshots, having a gameplay video, a trailer, if we were to have that. Um, oh, that's finished, we can double click that. Oh, hold on. Oh, it wants us to actually put in the title and all that before doing that. Okay, so our uh, game, we called it um, Galax, or whoops. Galaxy Protect, ah, Protector, uh, like that, and then our project URL basically just be the, the, the same thing. Um, then yeah, now I'm going to upload files and selecting this, and this should work. Yeah, okay. Now then, while we're waiting for if that to do that, we can uh, set up the rest of our things here. Our cover image going back to the same area. I think I think. It was, which I think this was the best screenshot. Shazam, I think that to load up. And at the same time, adding the rest of our screenshots here, which I think I can just shift click and have it do that. Cool. Uh, and then when yeah, these all load up, there we go. I think I'll move the level select one to the bottom just because the rest of these, the order I don't think matters too much should be fine yeah all right so now that's done there um yeah most of this information we don't really need to change much pricing i'll leave this uh default i'm not expecting to make any sort of money off of this i guess uh it's an action game in terms of genre um i'll edit this to add actually yeah description basically i don't know protect the galaxy in this uh well um er, i don't know oh whatever i can uh, come actually just protect the galaxy yeah that works uh gameplay video or trailer i copied the link from my um the first episode of this video series i think that could be good to put here oh don't want to leave um yeah but other than that yeah, basically now we're just waiting for this to uh, finish building, so I'll cut back when that's done. All right, so now that this is done, we have a few more options uh, here, like uh, here, the type of file it is, what um, systems it runs on, so we'll check uh, Windows there, and this will leave it as an executable file. Um, we can set up different things there. I'm also going to change the display name to just um, Galaxy Protector, getting rid of the build part. Um, this can be, we can leave blank and all of that. Most of these, yeah, we most of these we don't have to change much with, but yeah, that basically 
finishes this off. So now we can hit save and view, uh, view page. Wait a second. Boom. This is what this will uh, now look like for people who visit this page. And yeah, we think this, I think this looks good. So now we can uh, somewhere, I think, yeah, up here we hit dr the draft button and then we'll be able to set it to public. Uh, down here at the bottom, this was grayed out before, and now we can hit public. And I think everything else is good. One last thing I'd like to mention before we do um, fully build this out is that uh, when we're building this out in Unity, there are a bunch of different options here. One of them here is WebGL. This is something that we could have used and that itch.io supports. However, well, for this specifically, I wanted to just stick with this default PC, Macs, and Linux standalone way of building this game because this builds it into its own um, executable that then whoever is playing the game then downloads and then can run. Uh, if we did it with this, we'd have, first of all have to download something, um, but then the user is then able to um, play the game on the website, not having to download anything at all. This can be good, maybe more efficient or whatever, but in doing this, the game does get compressed a lot, and this can can cause issues with things like sound and lighting, and um, basically you can't have as big of a game if you're going this route, and you, or you have to be a lot more optimized in how you're doing things. But just sticking with this, we don't really have to worry about pretty much any of that, so that's uh, what we're doing here. Um, so now that we're done here, we can hit save, now that it's public, and boom, our game is now on the market for people to see and all of that. So yeah, that is how that's done. It's a pretty uh, easy thing to do. There are a lot more options that we can go and mess around with, but this is just the basics of getting a game out there. Not that difficult, pretty simple, and yeah. And with that, actually we can test out that this is working by going and downloading this. Um, no thanks me to the download why would i want to donate towards this person right no. um waiting a second uh we can wait for this to download and just make sure that it's actually working properly on the other end so i'll wait for this to download and be right back all right so now that that is done we can open this up and we have exactly what we see what we saw before and now we can run this and this is basically exactly what the person playing your game would see, which should be, if we did things right, the exact same thing we saw. So now, bam, our game is completely done and people can play it. So with that, oh, and as we can see, this all works as we, as it did before and all of that. And that brings us to the end of this series. Thank you all so much for watching all the way through if you have and as I basically said before, I hope that you can take what you've learned here and apply it to your own projects, expand this in different ways, and make something new out of it. I'm excited to see what might come of that, but yeah, anyway, that'll do it for this episode and the end of this series. Next time, I'll be starting something new, new project, um, potentially changing the layout of this series sort of taking what i've learned for making this one and changing things a bit we'll see what that entails like i don't want to just try a bunch of different things sort of see what works what doesn't and yeah just try different things for the most part i guess i'll see you all next time with whatever it is i make but yeah thank you all so much for watching and as always have a great day